Now, a lot of work needs to be done to restore faith in the government following the Sewol Ho ferry disaster. There's no quick fix here either, as recent public opinion polls show that more than 9 out of 10 Koreans believe the public and private sector are plagued by corruption. Kim Yeon bin reports. One of President Park Geun-hye's key plans for making the nation a safer place to live is cracking down on corruption in both the government and private sectors. It's an issue the Korean public feels strongly about. In a public opinion survey conducted earlier this month by the Asan Institute for Policy Studies, more than 93 percent of respondents said corruption was a serious problem. Nearly half thought corruption was a more serious problem than it was a decade ago and around 80 percent thought it was a major issue in both the public and private sectors. So is their perception grounded in reality? Those numbers are going to be a little higher right now because there is such a focus on corruption and the role it played in the recent tragedy. If we ask this question perhaps you know, two months, three months, four months down the line, I think that number would reduce significantly, and by significantly I mean maybe, maybe 10 to 15 percentage points. 26 percent of those surveys said poor law enforcement was a cause of pervasive corruption. Meanwhile, 54 percent said they were opposed to so-called parachute appointments that allow public sector officials to get jobs in the industries they were once charged with regulating. If the pervasiveness of corruption in Korean society is widely acknowledged as a problem, what then is the solution? in addressing it? Well, the laws, I think, to go after the people who are corrupt and, and going through you know, bribery, they are already on the books. The problem is the enforcement. And I think that's where the Park and Hay administration is really going to try to focus, is on cracking down when they find instances of it. So it might not be a matter of creating new laws. It's just enforcing the old laws and making sure that the people who take part in that really are come down hard upon so that they don't want to do it again. Friedhoff added that approximately one-third of the current sitting lawmakers in the National Assembly have been embroiled in cases of corruption. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.